for Rafa Maika. The rear guard action to try and come up with a final podium finish. And of course, the uh, honor of being the top Polish rider. Well, Kwiatkowski finishing the day 19 seconds down, seventh fastest. So really, the second half of the time trial proving a very good. And he looked so good. He looked smooth, didn't he? The form was good on the bike for Mio Kwiatkowski. He's dropped significantly away and he's going to drop off the podium. Rafa Maika a minute down, the time trial not exactly his happy hunting ground. Matty Mohoric, last man on the road. Joao Almeida with 35 seconds to get to the line to take this stage victory, that's uh, only one of his ambitions. Remember, starting the day, 12 seconds down, on Matty Mohoric. That's the key appointment for Joao Almeida, second in this time trial two years ago. He didn't mind winning it, I suspect, but uh, that looking less likely to happen. Well, the victory in uh, today's time trial all but confirmed for Mattia Catania. Joao Almeida will confine himself to a hope that he's going to be 12 seconds faster or more than Matty Mohoric in today's time trial. Almeida going to second on the timesheets, and nonetheless, very impressive effort, faster than Geraint Thomas. So I just want to, uh, to come to the line. Joao Almeida, the leader of your general classification, if Matty Mohoric does not manage a time within 12 seconds. And Joao Almeida's time at the finish line, I can tell you, was 19.23. So 19.35, anything north of that is going to be a worry for uh, Matty Mohoric. 19.35 we have as the target time, and it has to be lower than that, doesn't it? It could go to the fractions of a second here. Matty Mohoric still away to the line from here, 500 metres. Almeida finishing the day 19 seconds down. So let me re-clarify that. They're starting the, uh, they're finishing the day 13 seconds down on Catania. So 20, once he's more than 25 seconds down for Matty Mohoric, then he knows he's uh, lost the lead of this stage race. And it's a long, long way to the line from here. It's going to be close into the final 100 metres. Into the line for the yellow jersey cross. It's incredibly close. You know what? That's almost exactly the time he needed to be. What's it going to be? It's delight for Maria Catania, who is announced as the winner of the sixth stage of the Tour de Pologne. Again, this remains provisional, but Maria Mohoric may well have hung on to the yellow jersey by the scant margin of fractions of a second. They're locked on the same second after uh, 22 hours and 49 hours, 49 minutes of racing this week. 22 hours, 49 minutes and seven seconds, and it's down to the fractions of a second. Remind ourselves of another stunning performance from Sudal Quickstep and from Mattia Catania, who has uh, taken a major victory in his career. A time trial success for the great Italian all-rounder. And I think we're going to hear for, from uh, Mattia very shortly. Could well be in his native tongue, so we'll, uh, if not translate, <laughs> certainly listen and give him the space to express himself. At this moment, we knew that he was on course for a huge time, 4.4 seconds to the good ahead of Geraint Thomas. Through the square and nicely judged, wasn't it? He put together the front half and the back half of the time trial almost identically, and that's the uh, the delicious alchemy. It has to hurt, it has to hurt consistently, and it has to hurt in a way you can endure. Throwing the bike at the line, it uh, turned out to not be that relevant. 